MTD Network have travelled to Powercut in Coventry to check out their Studer S31 Specialist Grinding Machine. Tim, tell me a little bit about this machine. Well, this machine's a uh, high quality, high end machine. It'll, it'll maintain uh, decent tolerances of microns and it'll repeat jobs day in, day out. So what's the best feature about this machine? Is it the accuracy? It's the accuracy and you can also, the fact that it's so versatile, you can do so many different jobs on it. And give me an example of its versatility. Is it, it versatility? Is it the forms that you can produce on the wheels? Yeah, we can use, produce any form on the wheels governed by the width of the wheel. And we can, uh, it'll, re it'll repeat the form day in, day out and it'll maintain it. And when you say maintain it, how does it maintain it? Does it redress the wheel? Well, you have to set up the program as such that you, you'll do a rough and semi-finished cut. You'll drag the diamond, you'll drag, drag the wheel away to the diamond, redress the wheel, go back in, and it'll, it'll maintain the form all, all day long. I'm looking at it inside the machine, and I can see two wheels. Why? Why is it necessary to have two wheels? It's just for ease of manufacture, really. You can basically produce a form and get have another wheel in to say produce diameters and faces. For external features, you can you can grind threads, for example, but you can also do eccentric grinding. Yeah, this machine has got thread grinding facilities added onto it anyway. But you can also use it to, to grind forms like like squares on on, on uh, faces and whatnot. And it's also got Renishaw probing. Yeah, you you basically use the probe at the start of every program so that if there's an error in the part, it will always produce the same width on a part day in day out. Now, the wheels that we're looking at there are for all the external features and what we've been discussing are for the external features. How do you do the internal features such as the internal threads? Well, with the internal threads, you, you, you'll call up the uh, internal wheel, which is on the back of the two, two existing external wheels. So you, you've basically got three tools on the machine. Now, all of these processes sound quite complicated to me to program. Are they complica complicated? The, as long as you know, you've, as long as you've got a programming background, you can program it. As long as you understand conversational and you've got a, a fanic based background, it, it, they, they are quite straightforward to program. They're, they're easy, easy to go on with. And this is a production machine? Yeah, it is, yeah. It, it, it's built for high volume, high end quality work. So you've got lots of capacity on this machine, ready for the network. So anyone that's got any specialist grinding uh, um, requirements, they should contact yourself. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's, good. It, it, it's good for eccentric diameters, uh, for true diameters, and, and, and any particular forms.